god, and there it comes. <laughs> oh my god. Don't touch your eyes. This is actually going much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Welcome to Hot Tech. This is our little fun take on some new tech that we found on Amazon and a little homage to our one of our favorite shows, The Hot Ones, with hot wings, hot sauce, and hot tech. So I'm John, this is Mike, and we're gonna give you a rundown. Recently, we had a contest where we had uh, people submitted their favorite content from Amazon as far as their coolest tech. And Mike and I divided it all up. We have three categories today. We're gonna have under $20, under $50, and under $100. And so we've each picked our favorite pieces of tech from submitted by you or someone like you uh, to Amazon, and we're gonna show you why we think they're cool. I think I just wanna start off by saying I think this is a horrible idea, but I'm willing to play along. That brings the next question is, how are you with spicy food? I'm not a big spicy food guy, so uh, I've seen that other show. Um, it's entertaining, yes. uh, but I'm, I like some hot sauces, but I'm not like five bell alarm kind of, but I know what you're doing here. You pick sauces that are gonna hurt me. No, I didn't pick these. Okay. Robin, well, the, yeah, the team our, team, our, yeah. our team member yeah. did. Because I know they don't like me, so <laughs> they're, gonna, they're trying to hurt me. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our under $20 tech. Okay. So you're going to take your first wing yeah. and we're going to take our first hot sauce and you're going to dab a little bit on your wing. Yeah, I'm not used to doing this, so what? how many drops do I do? Do I just... Well, this the first one's going to be probably the easiest. Okay. So just, you're going to have to go a little harder than that. Oh, yeah. Do I want a lot of this on there? No. Well, okay, is that enough? <laughs> no, a little bit more. A little bit more. Well, who's the judge of this? You? Me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to come up with a concept and it's, you're going to hurt. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, is that enough? Sure. Okay. It's like a married couple or something. Actually, we got drinks here too. I can... We do. We have water and we have milk. I've done my thing here. Okay. So what's your first tech item? I think we're just going to slow down a bit. Was it spicy? Mm-hmm. Okay. For under $20. Under $20. Okay. Um, you know I like smart home stuff. You love smart home stuff. And so I've got a combination of Google uh, digital assistants, but I also have a lot of Amazon Echo stuff, you know, with the Alexa voice assistant. So this is a cool little one. If you want to add the voice assistant into a room that you don't have it in yet, uh, this is the Amazon Echo Flex. So it's got the little plug on the back and you essentially plug it into the wall. You go into the Amazon Alexa app, obviously, to get it set up. But from that point forward, like for example, if I had this in my bedroom, uh, I could then use Alexa to you know, turn off lights or get the vacuum going or whatever other smart home thing that I uh, have going. So what's unique about this one, it does have a built-in speaker. So if you wanted to, you could listen to music. It's not that great, right? But it does have an auxiliary input on it. Okay. Okay, so you can plug in some speakers. I don't know why you just wouldn't get a bigger Amazon Echo speaker. But if you have a small bathroom or something, it might be perfect for that. Yeah, so another kind of cool thing is it's got this little USB port on the bottom. So they're making little add-ons. So the add-ons, they're around 20 bucks as well. So I'm kind of cheating. You, yeah. Yeah, but it's like the gateway to all these little ones. So this one here is a motion sensor. And so you plug that in, and what happens now, if you trip the motion sensor, maybe you have this in the hallway at night, it could then, uh, once it's tripped, turn on lights. Cool. Which is kind of a cool thing. So they also have a couple other ones that I've seen. They've got a nightlight one. So I guess you wouldn't need the motion light because it's got the nightlight. And they also, strangely, have a little one that has a little clock down here. Again, maybe in your bathroom. Yes. When you're having a shower or whatever, you can see the time. Yeah, so again, I mean, these things go on sale every so often, but it's in the $20 price range. So cool. my pick. All right. My under $20 item is actually almost under $10. <laughs> okay. it's, it's crazy. It's this little HDMI to USB adapter. And you're thinking, what would you want this for? Yeah. This is $11 on Amazon, Canadian. And you can plug any HDMI video source into this, plug it into your computer. Okay. And then on Zoom, you could have any camera be your camera. 
about it. You could plug your Nintendo like Switch. Like a webcam or? No, like an SLR or anything. Okay. Anything that has HDMI out. Yeah. But you can also. Oh, yeah, because that's HDMI. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you okay. can then also plug in Nintendo Switch, your Xbox. Say you want to get a Twitch channel going. Yeah. This is the cheapest way to get your console into Zoom, into OBS, into Twitch. So how many of these things could you have hooked in at a time? Just, I guess, one. It, I think it depends on your computer. Yeah. Uh, I know on my Mac, you can have, I think, multiple ones. Yeah. So you could have different sources. Yeah. Um, I use this actually with my Raspberry Pis in my video synth software. Of course. Because then can. I can process video from one Raspberry Pi through another one. So how does this thing know that it's a video signal coming in? I guess that's the magic of the yeah. Because it shows up as a box. it comes up as a USB camera. Okay. In your little drop down list, like you know, like on a Mac, you'd have like a FaceTime camera. Yeah. This this just shows up, and this can handle and downsize even 4K video into 1080p. Yeah. And again, it's eleven dollars, and we've been using this for a while now, and it's been fantastic. So what you've used it for your synth stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But you, I've also used it for for Zoom. Okay. Right? Or Skype. Yeah. So we've used it for Skype when we're doing our radio interviews. I don't, didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. thought this stuff just magically Because I plug in our, our nice studio cameras into one of these, uh, and I can just plug it into my laptop, and we have a really nice, very high quality camera for our but Skype But can calls. handle the bandwidth? Like, yeah. Like, like, to what, like 4K? Well, it'll downsample it to 1080p. Okay. Yeah. So you're not, do they make 4K ones? Like, they do. Because the, the USB wouldn't be fast enough, would it? Correct. Got it. They do have other ones, and they actually have other models of this. I'm just, I'm just testing this milk, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> they do make other models that don't have the USB 2 and They actually have a USB port, so you can plug any cable into it. it. They also have USB-C ones as well. Which is faster throughput. Faster throughput yeah. and a little bit more expensive. But for, for $11, this, is, this actually is very cool. My bottleneck up here to see. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Can I use it to spread it? Yeah, but you're spreading more. Is that too much? That's fine. Okay. Yeah, of course you'd say that. <laughs> that just looks like it's going to hurt, right? It does. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm just, how many bites do I have to take? Just one? Well, you should, you should have a substantial bite of it. You just want to eat the wings because you haven't had lunch yet. I'm a little hungry, to be honest, yeah. That's probably the worst way to play this game. Is it? Yeah. yeah have you played this before? No. No. Oh. But I've seen lots of people play it. Oh, geez, that's hot. Ah. Can you... Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> this is actually going much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Oh, see, see, it's not good, right? Because you drink the, the milk, and then it just washes, the the hurt down the throat now. So now it's my tongue down my esophagus. Wait till oh. your stomach starts burning. Oh, that's, oh, God. So my fifty dollar, and it rained. Like this thing goes on sale. They've got different versions of the fire stick, but I'm just trying to get the idea across. Like mm -hmm. I always carry one of these when I'm traveling. And uh, it's basically a streaming stick. So, you know, Roku makes them. Amazon's got the Fire TV sticks. They've got the light ones. So you can get them, you know, $35 to $60. This one goes on sale a lot for under 50. And basically, it's got all your favorite. Can I do a voiceover after? No. No? Well, that's stupid. Uh, so it's got like Netflix and Apple TV Plus. Of course, Amazon Prime, but it's good because now when I'm traveling, uh, you know, if I'm staying in an Airbnb or a hotel, I can just put the stick in and have access to all the shows because I've got Plex and I have all my favorite TV shows and movies on that. How do you handle the hotel room Wi-Fi when you're traveling with that? I just log in with the Wi-Fi. On what? Um, on the stick. What do you mean? Like through the TV. Mm -hmm. To get it to stream, you plug it in, you set it to the right source, and it pops up, and then you just put in the, the Wi Fi. The only problem I run into is remembering that I've put it into the back of the TV. Yes, which is why you keep buying them. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so that's why I'm glad they're under $50. But it, it, honestly, it's a lifesaver, right? Because 
Uh, you should put an air tag on it, then it'll remind you that you've left it. Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. Anyway, so that's my, um, God, $50 and under thing. Do you want me to put on for you? <laughs> no. Okay. We, we could have had Steven or somebody else I, You know this. what, I should have just taken one bite. Like, what am I doing? You were just like painting it with it. Oh, well, look what you're doing. Yeah, no, I'm I'm playing along. Yeah, you have fancy pants. You're gonna have to use my milk soon. Wow, oh, it just doesn't go away. Like, how long does it take to go away? About three days. This stupid game. Mm, that was really good. Yeah. I like that one. Well, no, it's not good. I don't know what you're thinking. Like, what's good about it? You, yeah, just it's creep it up. It's yeah. creep it up. Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. Okay, what do you got? All right. So, we actually recently did a video about this. This uh, 50 bucks is the regular price for this Anchor Soundcore. Um, it goes on sale all the time as well. For less than 50? I got it for $34. That's hilarious. Like, it's really good. Yeah, yeah it sounds amazing. Price. Yeah. Bluetooth. I didn't even realize this until we were doing the video. It's actually kind of waterproof or weather resistant. Yeah. You're not going to like drop it in the ocean. No, but I mean you could take it to a beach or like, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's got um it's got auxiliary in. Mm -hmm. It's got a micro USB charge port. Yeah. And it's got a microphone so you can actually use it yeah. as, you know, a speakerphone. Yeah. So for work or for play. Yeah. And you know what, for under 50 bucks, you don't worry about losing it cuz we compared it in our video to a Sonos Roam. Yeah. Cuz I'm a Sonos guy, you know, yeah. the multi-room system. Yeah. And it's the Sonos Roam is it's a beautiful piece of technology, and it just works so well with my system. But the big play on that is that it's got Bluetooth and AirPlay, so you can take it with you. Yeah. But it freaks me out because that thing's over two hundred bucks. You know what I mean? So when I'm taking that out to the beach or something, like, I, <laughs> or you leave it in your hotel room, or leave it in my hotel, like I'm always like got anxiety about yeah. taking that that with me. Yeah. I love it, but at the same time, something like that would be. What. Well, even at regular That's price, yeah. this is an amazing deal. But on sale, and it, like I said, it goes on sale all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's it's solid. It puts out a lot of um, decent bass. Yeah. And again, for the price point, it's ridiculous. The Sonos Roam, I have to say, I, I felt the audio was better. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But I got to balance that with the anxiety of losing it. Well, and you could buy four of these for the price of the Sonos. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So. That's all I'm doing. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fun Town. If they just pick these random. Oh, God. There it comes. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to rub my eyes. But don't. Don't touch your eyes. I have to pee now. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm what do you just, have? I'm, I'm just going to get through this. Okay, this is from Treat Life. Uh, they make a lot of smart home um, products and light switches. Um, this was interesting to me because I have ceiling fans in my house. And so, here in the west coast of Canada, unlike the rest of Canada, especially back east, they have air conditioning and stuff. So. Most homes out here don't, uh, so a lot of people have ceiling fans like I do. And so, I didn't realize that they had these. This was the first one I've come across. I've never seen that. Yeah, like, so this... It's such a You rare... know ceiling fans with the lights? This can... You're gonna lose your milk in a second here. It's okay. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you. Um, this can control both of them. So, it ties in with... Um, your favorite voice assistant, uh, Alexa and Google. So depending on what you got. Yep. And you can use your voice, which is great. So now I can just be lying in bed if I had a fan in my bedroom and just tell it to turn on and off. So would you install it yourself or would you get an installer? You could. Yeah, they've got some pretty good videos and stuff on this stuff now. I'm more confident 
now, but in the early days when I was doing this, I would get an electrician. Yeah, if you any concerns at all, just get an electrician. It's just uh, you got to know you need to have a neutral wire. So that's that's the tricky part. And that's why this is such a rare breed is because you do need that neutral wire yeah. support to control those the lighting and the fan separately. Yeah, but very cool. But Tree Life they make a lot of cool tech. But uh, I think this is in the seventy or eighty dollar okay. category. But yeah, highly recommend it. Cool. Oh my god. And I will join you in Garlic Reaper Town. Oh my god. It just like goes through your nose too, right? Like my nose is all running now. Yeah, it'll come out your eyes soon too. Yeah. So why do people do this? Because it's fun. Oh my god. Why aren't you on fire? I'm a trained professional. You haven't even drank your water. No. Or your milk. No. So for my $100 tech or less, and I was actually surprised, The we got a spreadsheet, we've got hundreds of submissions. Lots of people submitted this. Yeah. And I, this was an instant easy pick for me. This is the Wise. Oh, yeah, you love this. You yeah, love this. this is the wireless outdoor cam. And this is magical for a couple of reasons. <laughs> it looks like a, a Roblox kind of cartoon camera system. Yeah, or like, you know, little puppet. Yeah. Um, so this is the sort of transmitter. Mm -hmm. You plug this in to a wall outlet, and yep. then it has an ethernet port, and it, it actually gives you quite a large range for the camera itself. Okay. So you can actually put this like on the inside wall, and you put this outside, and it comes yep. with a bunch of mounting brackets. And, but and that has to be wired into ethernet. Yes. Okay. Um, it also is completely, it's got its own battery, right? So you go and you mount this somewhere outside, and, it, and obviously it has to be weatherproof. It's waterproof. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and it's actually got a little rubber gasket cover over top of the charging port. Yeah. And I found that this lasts probably about six months, being on all the time. Yeah, keep going. Um, but why I actually like it, not for the outdoor camera side, I like to do it indoors. I want to keep an eye on something in the kitchen. Yeah. Something I can keep an eye on the cat. Yeah. I could just move it around. It's wireless. It doesn't care. It's super portable that way. Everything else you would have to like plug in and wire. This just lives with my router. This goes anywhere in my house and I have perfect signal. Three level townhouse, no problem. Yeah. And it just works. It has a great little app. You get notifications so you can have things like motion. <laughs> You can actually um, do time lapses and other things like that with it. It's about, I think, 80 or $90. Okay, you know what? It actually, it, it feels more solid than it looks. Yeah. I thought it was like cheap plastic, but there's like some real heft yeah. to this. Yeah, so, and it comes with, a, like I said, a bunch of different mounting plates, yeah. so you can actually attach it to different things. It's fantastic for what it is. And like... But there, why does it need this? Well, to give you a range, because you could put this like, say you have a tree house in your backyard. Yes. This would allow you to reach that without having to worry about Wi-Fi connectivity. The, the challenge though, John, I find is not everyone has like ethernet running through their house. No, but you put that with the modem. But then why don't you just use the Wi-Fi then from the modem? Well, because the idea is this could be outside and your, your, your Wi-Fi might not reach. Okay, so what kind of magic is it this using? Well, think of it like a, like a range extender. Yeah. Right? So but if it's right beside your Wi-Fi router, then... No, but it's a dedicated okay. path okay. to the camera, okay. right? So... Don't ask too many questions about the magic. No. This has, like, been horrible. <laughs> my, my tongue is... I can't feel it right now. Yeah, you're going, going now? Mm -hmm. You want my water? <sighs> no, I'm just going to keep drinking this milk. Is that good milk? The milk is fantastic. This is probably the best part of this whole thing, other than the tech. But. But this was, I, I mean, I knew i knew you were gonna be a little uncomfortable with this. Yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. That's why the whole team loves this idea. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, we'll make some of them have some of the hot sauce after this. We will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, John. You're welcome. So hopefully you enjoyed Hot Tech. If you have any questions or ideas for future segments like this, send us a comment at getconnectedmedia.com. And Help me to say it's stupid so that we don't have to do this again. If you'd like. <laughs>